All right. April 20th, team call. Kick it off with a little quote here from Jim Rohn. If you want to have more, you have to become more. Success is not something you pursue. What you pursue will elude you. It can be like chasing butterflies. Success is something you attract by the person you become. A little personal development there. All right, some recognition. Success Club. So these are the coaches that have hit Success Club 10 as of yesterday for the month of April. With 10 points, we got Kate McGinty, Kirsten Stapp, Susanna Bell, Marie Sardelli, and myself. With 11, we got Caroline Nathan and Brianna Cooper. And with 12, we got Kayla Kretschmer. With 14, we got Chris Bocklet. And with 15, we got Amy Realman. With these are the, the top 20 coaches that created the most volume for the week of April 7th through the 13th. So your volume, your personal volume is created by your personal orders and your customer orders. So with 285 volume points, we have Tanya Boycourt, Ashley Brown, and Aaron Roch. In the 300 club, we got Brittany Hadley, Amy Realman, Tyson Powell, Beth Realman, Robert Rodriguez, Susanna Bell, Caroline Nathan, Terry Bocklet, Morgan Brakenberry, Trip Knowles, Marilla Hurst, and Tiffany Gush. In the 400 club, we got Leah Hall and Margaret Mackerer and Carrie Steelman Schmidt. In the 500 club, we got Kirsten Staff, and in the 600 club, we got the birthday girl, Andrea Wallace. With these are the coaches that enrolled. Let's see, we got these are coaches that enrolled two coaches so far this month: Trip Knowles, Stephanie Fesmere, Rebecca Bonin, Lori Kushni, Marla Doan, Mark Gelfu. Kelly Hunt, Kelly Eskervej, Kayla Kretzmir, Jenna Skivington, Ellie Deal, or L, Benjamin Malone, Atha Matheny, Anthony Pereira, Andrea Wallace, Alyssa Britson. With three coaches, we got Ashley Feldenson. With four, we got Mackenzie McCain. With seven, we got Amy Realman. And with nine coaches enrolled this month, we got Caroline Nathan. All right. Last recognition here, we have the weak leg team volume. So this is the team volume on your weak leg. We got different levels of how many volume points you had on your weak leg. So your team volume is based on all the volume that the coaches in your weak leg created. So with over 350 team volume points in their weak leg, we have Amy Morgan's second business center, Casey Beard, Elena Diglio, Ann Knapp, Caroline Nathan, Brittany Dimmick, Emily Crushore, Dave Yackel, Jeff Lease, Allison Charlboyce, Elizabeth Grimes, and Jennifer Conroy. In the 500 club with over 500 team volume points in their week leg, we got Beth Realman's second business center, Bridget Moore, Melissa Virgil, Marilyn Bourget, Sydney Freeman, Margaret Mackerer, Brittany O, Wade Kepar, Sarah Olinsky, Trip Knowles, Gage Eckert, and Josh Morgan. With over a thousand team volume points in their weak leg, have Stacy Slade, Nick Walsh, Ashley Feldenson, Shauna Valenta, my third business center, Pete Realman, Joe Policino, Amy Realman's second business center, Chris Bocklet, Robert Rodriguez, Marie Sardelli, Brittany Miller. Chuck Wallace, Caroline Nathan, and Terry Bocklet. With over 3,500 team volume points in their weak leg, we have Alyssa Sardelli, Amy Morgan, Michelle Phillips, my second business center, and Amy Realman. With over 7,000 team volume points in their weak leg, Andrew Wallace. And with over 14,000 team volume points in their weak leg, Beth Realman and myself. So that is your recognition 
for the week. How about a little round of applause for all those folks? It's not, uh, it's, it's no coincidence that the coaches' names that I'm constantly reading off week after week after week are the ones that are so consistent and have been consistent for a long period of time. Okay, am I like really blurry right now? Or is that just, yeah? All right, that's good. That's a good thing for you guys. Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the, uh, the new, or I don't know how new it is. I don't think it's that new anymore. The Team Beachbody Challenge Group app. So we have a few coaches on Team Boom, and I think we also have Wendy Jo Spencer, who is a, an elite coach uh, on the call as well. I think some of her team's on the call too, so she's going to share a little bit about how she uses the app, and then we have some, some other Team Boom coaches that are going to share as well. Emily Bocklet and Jillian Hilferding are going to share, and then we got a few others that are going to chime in, and you guys can kind of ask questions as we go in the chat, or you can save your questions for the end. And if you guys are using the app and you guys want to like chime in and just say, yeah, I like what they're saying. Like I do that too. It's really working for me. You guys can, can do that in the chat or kind of chime in after they're done. But uh, if you guys are on a phone and you guys are listening in, it's probably better to get on a computer if you can. And even if you're on your phone, it might be hard to kind of follow along because they're going to share their screen to kind of show us how to set up a challenge group on the app and how to track and use it, all the functionality and that good stuff. So you might want to hop on a computer if you can do that. But I'm going to throw it over to uh, Emily Bocklet and Wendy Joe Spencer and Jillian Hilferding. I, was, I think Emily and Jillian were just going to, or uh, and Wendy were going to just quickly say kind of what they what they like about it compared to a traditional challenge group on on Facebook and then we're going to jump into kind of how to set one up and, and how to uh, how to run it and track it and all that good stuff so I'm gonna throw it over to Emily and uh, let her run with this thing <laughs> okay um, well I'll just first share a couple of things that I uh, love about the app um, one uh, what I love about it is its functionality um, as a challenger um, through the app portal itself when you get it onto your phone even if you are the coach when you log in or maybe I'm doing something wrong it it you log into the app and you are one of the challengers you'll see a little C sign next to who the coach is so I see on there that I've posted but working through the app I'm working as one of the challengers which is nice I think because I get to see it from their perspective um, and that being said, it, being a challenger, I think it's such an awesome way to stay on top of your workouts and your shape. Um, you log them daily. You can take an immediate selfie, um, share what ingredients went into your shake, and post it right to the feed. Um, so that's pretty great. Um, so I guess, you know, that's what I, I guess my one of the things besides. Um, what I'm going to share in a minute about setting up the group. That's what I love. Um, that's what I'll say what I love about the app is its functionality from the, the viewpoint of the challenger. I think it's going to really help um, keep people on track. And I also think it legitimizes our challenges a little bit more rather than having everything on Facebook. Um, I think it kind of makes it more real deal to be going to a specific beach body app that you log in, you, you, you input your goal, you input your before and after measurements um, and pictures, everything straight away. So I, like I said, I think it legitima legitimizes it a little bit for people too. Love it. Cool. Um, before Emily, before you share your screen, I was going to, is Wendy on? Maybe Wendy could share just quickly what, why she likes it compared to the, to the traditional kind of Facebook group. Yeah, you're so blurry, it's distracting. <laughs> but anyway, um, so for me, I'm I... on my dad's have, computer. I, he's, he, he's still, he's the only one in our family that refuses to use Apple. And uh, I don't, he just, he's, I think he's refusing at this point just because we've told him he needs to switch so much. I, 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 I got some honey on the camera right here. It's, 
It's yeah, honey. It looks, like, it looks like some shakeology on the Yeah, there's some shake on there. That's kind of what it is. <laughs> oh, it must be a civil engineer thing. I just moved to Apple last year myself. So oh, anyway. See, engineers um, are doing Okay, so for me, I started with the beta group last year, and I didn't take to it right away. I liked it, but I felt like they needed to make a couple tweaks, which they have. And that's something else I really want to – encourage everyone on this call to be aware of if there is something that you can be like oh this would make it so much better send it in because corporate's keeping a list of everything that people want improvements on with this app and it's a work in progress they're constantly updating it so just think through it that way um for me which i'll talk about later it has made tracking so much easier i do something similar to what pat does in a lot of my groups which is Basically, when people check in with their daily nutrition or with their workout and their Shakeology or like do little mini challenges, this makes it so I don't have to scroll through the whole feed to like see how many times people are posting. It has it right next to their name, which I'll show later. Joe, it's Wendy. I'm over. I don't know where you are. I'm, I'm here. Um, so then the other thing I like for it I is... I think Joe doesn't know who you are. When people get on Facebook, we all know, I mean, we all fall prey to this, that there's a notification, there's this, there's that, and then they're kind of checked out of the group for whatever reason. With this, with this app, you check in, you push the button, you upload, it's done, it's simple, and people then are really on that like one-on-one -on -one basis with you. Like, you know, she just said, it legitimizes it, it makes it real, it makes it more than just an extension of Facebook that we're working through. Another thing, as a new elite coach, I've only been a coach for two years, um, I'm really focused on duplication this year because that's something hard to teach our new coaches who are signing up. And this is a simple way to kind of have that lather, rinse, repeat mentality. They can come on, there's a challenge group, you know, way, like right there, and, you know, basically the whole guide is downloaded in there so they can use something from you or they can use something from corporate and it's all set up for them. They don't have to find meal plans or do this and that. It's like easy for new coaches to run their new groups and be independent right away, which is big as you're trying to grow your team and help them gain more confidence and independence. And just like she said too, it's, it forces me to be a part of the group. Sometimes, you know, like I had a major knee injury this year. It was harder to check in and do my nutrition, do my workouts, and knowing that my other people in my group can see that I've done my workout, I've logged my Shakeology, makes it so much better for me to know that I'm accountable, which our groups go better when I'm accountable myself. Um, the last thing I wanted to say was one thing I like when people log in right away, it doesn't even have to be a pinned post at the top, but it says, here's the most recent post from your coach. And then it's kind of scrolls through. So no matter what you you know put in throughout the day, if you do more than one post or not, it's automatically at the top, which makes it nice when people log on. So those were my kind of you know bullet points of why I like it a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Cool. So Emily, did you want to share your screen and kind of talk about how to? I guess someone who's never even like used the app or used the Coach Portal, kind of show them how they would first start that like where to go and kind of sure cool okay Alrighty. so once you go to my challenge tracker portal .com, you're going to log in um with your deep body um right your typical sign in info you don't have to come up with anything new um, and you are going to see right on your home page whether or not you want to start a new group. Any current groups that you have running will be listed um, below that. So click on new group. I mean, this is all, that little tutorial that they send you is, is great, but this is literally like they hold your hand through the entire setup. So it's, it's really, really simple. Um, it, it, it only took me an afternoon to set up my group. Um, so you just give your new group a name add in the dates of which it's going to be starting how many days is it so it can be anywhere from 21 to 90 days on what challenge you're doing um, and then you can select the challenge program this is what you're going to be doing um, or sorry whether or not so just 
you know, drop down. If it's a multi program, this is what we were talking about, Pete, the other night, is, is if you have a hybrid type group um, with people doing lots of different challenges simultaneously, you just would choose multi program. Or you can just, if you're just doing, say, a 21 day fix, you can yeah. choose that as well. So I'll click multi program. Um, a lot of the info that I've used was just, you know, cut and paste from your Facebook groups. So the description of your group, um, you know, come into an old group, go into what the description that we had there was, and I'm just going to cut and paste it into the description here. So it didn't do it all, but that's, you get the idea. Um, if you have an image on hand, you can upload it. This is what they're going to see um, when they log in. We'll just choose that one for the time being. I can't see because you guys are in, your heads are in the way. Okay. Um, and then it's going to create the group. So easy peasy um your information that this is all info that they're going to see um you don't have to have your phone number there but for me i'm trying to get um better with the making the experience amazing for my challengers so um i'm open to them texting me if they want to um and like i said it literally walks you right through everything um, this is a, um, where you start to add your challengers is the inviting stage. Um, you can customize an email to them, but they do give you, um, this would, this is all this information here is in their info, um, email to customize it yourself. It would be in this text box. Um, any specifics maybe that you have for your group or whatever. Um, but they, get the dates that they're going to be working, um, the step-by-step -step of what they need to do with their challenge tracker, um, and then contact info to reach you. All of this is right here. Um, and then you're going to save that if you wanted to look at it. I'm nursing one baby and the other one's playing with her feet. Sorry. <laughs> um, there. All right. So next what you do is and you can see here if you have a bulk list of all of your challengers or you know cut past customers anyone that you want to include up to 250 you can bulk add that list or just go into your um, customer database on Beachbody and cut and paste their um, names and emails. It'll create a list and then you, when you're ready you'll send it out to your challengers. I guess I would have to do one to be. Able to go to the next spot. All right, so then this is a cool feature I thought. Um, so it shows you all your participants and it starts logging how many times that you've invited them. So my sister, Claire, I invited her to the group. It shows that I invited her today, the 20th. And then you can go through multiple times and resend an invitation email to them. So I followed up with people a couple of times. Did you get my first email? The challenge is going great. Um, can you log in? You know, do you need any help logging in? So you can resend um, the invite as many times as you want. Um, all right. Here at the top, you can start to see, like we can start to put together the group now. Um, you can um, start uploading files. So if you have meal plans, uh, recipes, anything that you want them to access um, through the app that you typically have in your challenges, what could be here, maybe a personal development, um, if you're doing a book together or whatever. Um, those files go here. And then when they get log in through their um, through the app itself at the top of the page where your uh, picture is um, of your group picture. It says info and info and something else. They click on that and then it'll, um, they're able to see like the description of the group, all the files available. 
um, stuff like that. All right. Okay, so let's go to the group feed. This is where you start to input um, the daily post. And if you're anything like me, getting set up for a challenge group is a pain in the neck. But with this um, portal, it was so easy. I literally post scheduled two posts for every single day of those 30 days um, in one nap time. So in a couple, in just a couple of hours. And so the way that you do that is you go over to the scheduled draft posts, but look real quick underneath that to challenge group guides. If you click on that, you'll see all the corporate, and this is, you know, this looks like what we see in when we go to our training um, page on the Beachbody site, but it has all of the different um, coaching guides for every program. So most of us typically choose the um, 21 Day Fix Daily Coaching Guide. It pops up in another window, which is nice. It pops up in another window, so you just scroll down. And so literally, you just go back and forth <coughs> between the challenge group guide, sorry, um, and the portal scheduling your posts. You have to do you do have to end up doing some um, formatting, which is kind of a pain, but whatever. So, Emily, hey Emily, yeah. If you pick, if you pick like a specific program, like let's say you picked a twenty-one day fix challenge group, right? With the, with with the daily post for all twenty-one days, like automatically, could you just automatically have them post in the app for you without having to copy and paste all twenty-one no. days? No, not that I know of. All right, no. so. That's, that's something I think we should, that, that, we should have them do. That's a great suggestion for uh, each, each program. Right? For tech support, that's a really good suggestion. If you have, but they have it. Tell me if, if you have suggestions, you should like tell them. Like, it, just make, it just seems weird that you got to copy and paste 21, 21 posts when they could just automatically show up for you. Right. Well, I don't know. You don't, maybe, I don't know. Yes, that would be very That'd be awesome if they did that for you but you can also like customize it so pete said he's got a hybrid group like wants to do a hybrid group so you can pull up multiple challenges and you know maybe take one one day from sean t another day take one from tony another day a shakeology although there are lots of shakeology posts and then so that so you schedule your posts i also did i did two a day the one in the afternoon oftentimes correlated with the info um, in the morning, but I would go back and forth between my different challenge groups. Um, obviously, like look for some that probably got better response than others um, with your challenges. And so then you just literally just add them all. Um, so this content would be here, add an image, you know, go to your folder, your 21 day fix folder of images, select the image, it pops it up there. You can do videos, the videos go in there as well. Emily, did you have to take each one of these images and save it into a folder someplace? Yeah, this, these are my own personal 21 day fix um, images. So all those images that they're on this coach portal, have to be saved into a folder or something on your desktop. Right. Okay. Which most of us have. Pete, I can send you one if you want. No, I, no, I just wanted to make sure people knew how the photos had to be in. Yeah, those are those are my own personal photos. And then, so where it says post now, you click on the arrow. And then you can click here, schedule. I want it to be... 6 a.m. <coughs> if you go to the feed, you'll see it there. So, it's pretty easy. It's pretty great. Um, <laughs> cats start using it. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. I think anything I said, I said this over the weekend, um, anything that like beach bodies rolling out with on demand and, um, consumer end is just going to be really good. So it's important for us to stay on top of it and really know how to use it and work it. I think. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so Wendy, before you go into like how to track and lead a challenge group, once you've got your post set up and your challenges are in there, do you have anything to add about like the setup process? Um, I know it seems like some people were thinking you can only work from the computer with this, but that's not how it works for me. I have three little kids and I'm hustling them around all the time. So I literally use the coach portal from my phone every day. Um, I just saved it to the homepage, kind of like how we do with the coach mobile enroll. It's the same kind of thing where it just looks like a new button, a new app. And I click on that and it logs me in and I can post any photos from my phone. That way I don't have to be in my computer. Otherwise I set it up, obviously, you know, really similar to Emily. I'll show you, um, one thing I've been doing that's been getting a lot more engagement is, um, a photo a day challenge, but that's like the, my main picture, I guess, so that people can get more points if they use the fitness photo a day challenge towards the prizes at the end. Otherwise, it's, I mean, it's really straightforward and really simple as Emily obviously laid out for everyone. Coach mobile enroll. What's that? It's going to change your life. Um, basically what you do as a coach or a customer or a new coach gives you their email, um, what program they want and what flavor of Shakeology. You input all of the information and it sends them an email and all they have to do is put in their payment. Um, so everything's taken care of. You don't have to send links or anything. Seriously, you guys, this is hilarious. Okay. Well, I'm glad I was on the call. Um, it's really almost exclusively what we use, um, upline and downline over where we are. If you go, um, if you sign into teambeachbody.com coach, coach mobile enroll is an option on the left, like almost in previous office view, it's right over there. And, or you can just go to coach mobile enroll.teambeachbody.com. You can buy, well, it's just about every challenge pack. So if you're signing up a coach or a customer with a challenge pack, everything is on there. I've never not been able to sign someone up that way. But I guess if you have really, yep, free accounts too, um, it makes life much easier, especially for some technologically challenged customers or coaches. It just handles it all for them. Okay, so Carolyn's mind is blown. Okay, so do you want me to talk about um, was I next or was someone else before me, Pat? No, you're up. If you wanted to just share your screen and kind of show people how you track <clears throat> during sure. the challenge group. Let's see what we've got here. Zoom group chat. What can we, what can you guys see? Let me exit out of that. Can you see my webpage? No. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So see, like I got this off of Google spring into action photo a day challenge. And then it's really, so I have my regular post motivational, like kind of what, you know, pull from the challenge group guide. But then this is a really simple way to, um, get more engagement and mix it up a little bit because I do a new photo for each group each month. And you just Google photo a day challenge. April is what I Googled. And so for example, on the sixth, you take a picture of your grocery cart and you'll get an extra point towards, you know, a prize at the end, which can be a fixate cookbook or more Shakeology or, Beachbody performance line, or you can only spend $50 on, you know, your participants, but it can be shoes, whatever you want. So that's what I do personally to get more engagement. Um, and people have been liking it because it mixes it up a little bit. And then if they do want to also post on Facebook, they can tag me that way. But someone asked me earlier, I do not run groups on Facebook anymore. This is what I offer my customers and this is what they get. The only issue I've run into one time is that I have a customer who doesn't have a smartphone and so she can't use it. That was the only real struggle that I had with this because so then we just text every day. I basically just tend to send her what, you know, what it is. Okay. Um, also another tip that I have is with my participants because we can't see their measurements. 
I used to have literally people input their measurements into a Google form and then I'd update that every Sunday. People would say, okay, our, our team or our group lost, you know, 28 inches this week or whatever it was. And people were having to bounce all over the place. Here, because it's all in one place, um, I tell them to put the sum of their measurements in their notes section when they're talking about their goals and then just update that because otherwise I can't see their measurements. That's one thing that I'm also asking Beachbody to work on. If I can see their beginning weight, why can't I see their beginning measurements? I don't see why it's an issue to be able to add that to. I also do a new video before every single group that I do. I don't just have a general welcome to the challenge group. It's really simple, you know, like it's, I try to do it a week before, sometimes it's just a few days before, but it's where I am on my journey, my struggles, how you can get a hold of me in the beginning. And I also ask all of my participants in that video to let me know how to get a hold of them if I see them starting to fall off. Do you want me to be the coach that's bothering you all the time? Or do you want me to be the coach that just sends you a message and then isn't in your ear? You know, because some people don't like that. They get bothered by someone pushing them like that. So I talk about that in my video. One thing that is different from Facebook, videos don't just upload. Um, sorry, I have a little monkey behind me here. Um, videos don't just upload like they do in our Facebook groups. You need to go over there if you're not going to be quiet, please. Um, and so you have to upload to YouTube, basically, is what you have to do, um, which is not hard. It plays automatically in the group, but you have to upload it to YouTube before you can put the link into this. Okay, <clears throat> so now let's talk about tracking. What's really nice about this, like I said earlier, is for example, I'll click on Samantha here. It's, you know, it shows that she um, had right here. So she had 17 workouts, 17 Shakeology, and she's done 64 comments that shows their program. So like, for example, yes, or Sunday, you can click on Sam and then, you know, it shows her before photo, what her goals are. And then I can just click right here and say, you know, basically like, Hey girl, awesome job logging in every single day this week. I'm really proud of you heading into this last week. How can we go a little harder because you are rocking this, right? So that's really a nice way and it'll send an, an, an update or like, um, what's that called? A notification to her phone when I send this to her. It's not like it goes into her email inbox. It's not like it's something she has to check to see if she has a message. She gets a notification right away you have you know, a new message, and then this is what it is from your coach through the app, which is really nice. Um, the other thing that I like about this, so, you know, if you look over here, you can see um, if they have their reminders on, which, so for some people, we've all had those people that are like, oh, I don't know when I'm gonna get my workout in, I really struggle, I can't schedule that time. What I like to do with them is say, okay, you need to go into the app, set a reminder and it lets you set what time you want the reminder and then i have them tell me that so if they say they're going to get their workout in by 7 a.m not only will they get a notification from the app hey you haven't logged your workout yet today i can text them at 7 or 7 30 or whatever especially in the beginning like hey did you get your workout today i know the app reminded you but hey here i am too so that's another really simple way just to kind of make it more personal and one-on-one -on -one to know that you're watching, right? It's, that's the hardest part for me sometimes is these, you know, as our challenge groups grow, that you don't always know if someone's watching you. So, you know, let's say Dania here, she's a really awesome challenger. She's always on it, but it said, you know, she only did 12 workouts. So now I can say, okay, so she only did 12 workouts this week. What days did she not work out? It shows you right here with obviously like, you know, the, the icons. Blue is workout, green is Shakeology, blue and green is both. So I can look here and say, okay, well, so she skipped a workout on Thursday. I can text her Thursday if I didn't see her check in. Or on Sunday, I can be like, hey, you know what happened this week? Last week you rocked it. Or Monday and Thursday, stressful days. It just kind of opens up the conversation to make it a better experience. Um, and then, like I said, with, with tracking um, points, you know, it shows right here, basically this is how many points they would have. Um, so you don't even have to then go up and count however many posts they have. You just kind of look through it this way. Um, struggling with time management, turn on reminders, rises. I think that's about it. Is there anything else that, I mean, those are the main reasons why I like it. Um, 
can you go back to the main page of this website, the My Challenge Pack? My Challenge. Oh, like my portal. groups, this one. Yeah. So, like, when you just go to My Challenge tracker portal.com what you see is all your past challenge groups that you've set up and then your current ones mm -hmm. i'm also running like i like to run coach groups in here i know that might seem silly but for some coaches what is one of our vital behaviors right be a product of the product so it's a simple way for my new coaches or my coaches who are needing a little revival to um, get back into it I have a don't know what to post solution group so not only did they get here's something to post every day but I want to see if you're doing your Shakeology and your workout because it's a vital behavior and um, I can see if you're checking in and I don't have to babysit people or bother them I can just click on a button and see how they're doing um, and then I also ran like a clean eating group in here. Again, it's a way to show the app off. They didn't have to do Shakeology or their workout, but I said, log in once you get a, you know, your clean eating done for the day and put that with your comment under, instead of Shakeology. And then with your workout, same thing. So it's a way for them to see the app, be excited about the app, but then obviously still use it, um, to use towards one of our paid groups. Cool. And then go ahead, click on the current one again. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So just there's kind of like four options at the top there. You have the group feed. We looked at the participants. Mm -hmm. You got your invitations. Invitations is what, um, what you were shown just before. And that's really where you can see, um, of course, it's like view sent invitations. I had, don't need to add anyone right now. My group's going on. But over here, um, I have the green checks are people who've joined. So like Adria, she never joined. I can then either resend it or I can reach out to her before the group starts saying, Hey, did you get the email? Do you just need your invite code? Um, so you can see if people have actually logged on and signed up into the group. Cool. Can we, can we look to see what the, at our, the files, what's the files there? So one. I have, um, a whole PDF of sample meal plans. Typically, I like to also upload like the um, challenge track, you know, like and people can take their before photos, like here's the guide on how to do your before photo, and here's a way to get your shirt. I'll add that this week, it's just so that cool. people know they can also get their shirt. That's great. That well. And then let's just take a look at what the, the, uh, the feed looks like. Okay. So here's what my first post was today. I asked them to post a motivational photo along with whatever it was. And then, you know, Pat just took a picture of her Shakeology bag when she drank her Shakeology. Um, but otherwise, oh, he did a workout with their dog, <laughs> you know. So it's a simple way kind of for people to, you know, log in, comment. You can tag people really easily in that sense. Is it pretty similar to like a – it looks – Pretty similar to like a Facebook feed. They made it yeah. right, very user friendly, something that's familiar to what we're used to. It's easy to comment and then you can just keep keep scrolling. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, it's very similar. And then the only thing I know that they're changing is right now the um, when you go to log a workout or a shakeology, it's an option at the bottom that you have to click to share your photo with the group, with the news feed, that it's off and they're changing it where that is automatically on and people then have to change it to be off versus vice versa. Cool. So that's something they're changing right now too. Do you do like a, a post once a day that says like comment on this post with your workout and what you had for breakfast or something like that or because they just log – their workout and their Shakeology in a different part of the app. You don't have to have that post anymore. I've done both. I kind of, um, I do something similar to what, what Carolyn does in the sense where it's like, you know, your fives rate right on a scale of one to five, what your workout, was, how your workout was, your Shakeology, your clean eating, and then also list your meal plan. And some groups it takes off and other groups it's not as much. And like this group there, they were putting a lot of their nutrition. They'll check in, you know, tonight is typically when I see in a little bit, um, whether, whether they'll check in with their nutrition and especially their containers. And then that's just how they're liking to do it instead of putting it under one post. So cool. I just kind of go with what works best for each group. And then you got your notifications and then your scheduled post slash mm -hmm. draft post. Yes. And then what's nice about notifications is it can, you can turn them off on your phone or like I said, you can work from your computer, but 
Um, I'm trying to think. I think it was you talking about your aunt, like when you guys were on vacation. It's such an easy way to log in and do it this way instead of having to go to a Facebook group. Do you know? Go through that you know route. This is just simple. Click on a notification and you're there. Um, and so it's you kind of can feel the pulse a little bit better versus the distraction of all the other Facebook notifications. No. <clears throat> I found on the portal, you can tag people too. You can do the at and tag people in the group. Right. Yeah. You can you tag, tag people. Anybody that's in the group, but on the phone, I've only, I've found that I can only tag, like there's only, gives you three people you can tag. Have you had run into that? I haven't. Um, I'm trying to think maybe I haven't had the, <laughs> I haven't had that issue, but I don't know. I mean, sometimes I'll usually at night when I'm doing my follow-ups at the end, I am on my computer because my kids are sleeping and I'm physically sitting down, which doesn't happen all that often. Um, if it's something that you have run into, I'm sure that's one thing that they're being so forward about updating this app based on what people's feedback is that I've been happy with the response I've gotten from corporate on it. Has yeah. anyone else had that issue? Yeah, I have. Pete, if you just type in their whole name, and then click on their name, then they'll pop up. All right, yeah, I've, I've, I've done the at symbol and then put their, started typing their name in and they don't come up. There's only three people that always come up. It, it, will, it, it will do it, it will. It just, you have to type their whole, mm -hmm. like their whole name. But then, on the, yeah, on the portal, you don't have to, it pops right up. Right, not, not on the portal, but on the app. Right. It, okay. the the name, so yeah. click on their name and they will pop up. <laughs> Cool. Cool. All right. So Jillian has a little something to add. She actually uses this app to that get her, I believe, or does something with her leads. Yeah. Oh. So basically ahead, like I've never had any luck with my leads. I will text, I will email, I've tried to find them on Facebook. And I just haven't had a really great response rate at all. So, so Jillian, before um, you go any further, I, I, there's probably some people on here that don't know uh, the lead. So like as an Emerald coach, is, if you're hitting Success Club 5, you receive leads from Beachbody the, the next month. If you hit, so those leads are people that have ordered like a P90X from an infomercial or a 21 day fix from an infomercial. Those customers get, always get assigned a coach. And they're going to get assigned to a coach that made Success Club 5 the previous month. And they'll show up in your coach online office. You'll get their name, their, their phone number, usually in their email. If you hit Success Club 10, you, you still get those leads, but you also get Shakeology leads. So when people order Shakeology from the website, but they don't have a coach they ordered from, those Shakeology leads, they also get assigned to coaches that made Success Club 10 the previous month. Yeah. So that's a that's something that Beachbody does for us. They give us those customer leads. As long as you're hitting, as long as you're an Emerald, you're hitting Success Club five and ten for the Shakeology customers. It's pretty cool. They pop right up in your Coach Online office with their email. And Jillian's saying sometimes it's a little tough to get them when you email them. Maybe it goes to their spam or something. It's hard to find them on Facebook. So she's using this app. So go ahead and tell them kind of how you how you're doing that. Um, well, like somebody said earlier, I think it's a really cool tool because it kind of sets us apart from the whole Facebook world. It's a little more official, a little more exclusive. I think people feel um, more engaged with it and more in touch versus like, oh, it's just, you know, some Facebook thing. And it doesn't get crowded away in their notifications um, with other stuff on Facebook. So it's its its, its own little entity, um, which I love. But I also think it, it maybe puts us up a step in trust with people um, when they see that they, you know, have to download this and it's just them and other people that are doing the programs and the things that they're doing or wanting to do. So I will send them the invite through the um, portal that we log into and then I'll immediately go and shoot them a text message and say, Hey, I'm your free beach buddy coach. I just wanted you to know I sent you an invite to a challenge group, a meet and greet to come and meet some other challengers who have the same goals, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Um, let me know if you're interested. There's directions on how to set it up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And I have actually gotten three responses, which is huge because I've never gotten anybody to respond before. But what I also thought was really cool um, when I went, I went back, 
through all of my leads and send an invite to every single one of them. And I've had 55 free leads through Beachbody. So even if it takes a little extra effort, we should really utilize what they're giving us for free. Um, but anyway, in the group, um, you just, I just basically run it like a free group. It's, and I know I haven't had, I just have the three people in there, so it's not super busy right now, just introductions. Um, but it's, it's a really cool tool to use and to make them feel welcome. And you can also, you know, move them out of that group when you form them a little bit and stick them into another challenge group that you're running. Um, just to let them see like how you run your more official groups and your programs, maybe to get them, you know, one step closer to a challenge pack if they haven't purchased anything yet. Um, and then also, like Wendy said, I use it for my coach groups because I find that my coaches get really distracted with Facebook when I'm constantly trying to connect with them on there. So having this separate and having them log, like she said, being a product of the product and log what they're doing and what they're not doing, it makes it a lot easier for me to keep track of them. So I don't have to be so much of a manager, but more of a coach, which is really cool too. Awesome. Yeah. And I just want to say about the, the leads that you guys receive, Joe Policino was one of my free customer leads and also Jaken. So two diamond coaches that came from the customer lead program. So definitely worth hitting that success club for that as well. And then making sure that you're reaching out to them. And this is just another way to make sure you're, you're getting them uh, to reach back out to you. So Jillian, like in that app, you put in their email and then you a message gets sent to them through that app, correct? Yeah, it's just that basic. Um, I just say, hey, I, I'm Jillian, I'm your free beach buddy coach. Please come join me in a meet and greet challenge group. You know, it's just a basic thing. Um, I don't say too much about like anything specific because I think a lot of people too with the um, the leads, they just like put in some random program that maybe they're not even really doing or you know, they just choose something because they feel like they have to. So I don't want to like specify too much. I want to keep it open in general with the inviting. Do you mind uh, in the chat pasting or sending like kind of something like what you say when you initially send them that email through the app? Yeah, for sure. I can do that. I have it on my notepad on my phone. Awesome. Let me email it to myself. Okay, great. Uh, before we jump to questions, Emily or Wendy, did you guys have anything else you guys wanted to add that you might have forgot or just popped in your head? I said it on the chat, but um, I think it can help us reach so many more people. Some that are Facebook, you know, against Facebook or not wanting to be a part of Facebook as their regular everyday, you know, life like teachers or other people who can't log into Facebook from when they sit down, they can always log into a website like this. Um, I mean, unless it's randomly blocked, but Instagram people, they don't want to have to use Facebook a lot of times. So this is a way to really reach more customers and be applicable for them. Awesome. <clears throat> cool. Anybody else on the call that uses the app that has anything else they want to share that they do maybe a little differently or that we didn't talk about? or just wants to give a thumbs up and say, I love it. Wow, a lot of thumbs up, that's well, cool. One thing I like about it is a lot of guys don't have Facebook, so it's really good for some guys who just aren't into Facebook, so that's another one. Good point. <laughs> um, cool, so does anyone have any questions? You can either put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself and ask if you want. Got about 10 minutes left. Quiet. Guess you guys did a great job. No one has any questions. <laughs> Nicolana's got a question about how to use it for your new coach groups. Um, like I said, I like it like for, I just did like a coach revival. I'm not sure what to post group. I think Carolyn, I use some of her content on, you know, in that group, but it's just an easy way to kind of get the vital behaviors going. I like to use it for my coach basics. I think it's really the direction I'm going to be moving almost solely into the only thing that, I mean, I know live video is big right now. It's getting a lot of play on Facebook. It's getting a lot of, you know, basically Facebook's pushing it up to the front of everyone's newsfeed. 
And I want my coaches to be able to learn how to do that. So I guess that's the only thing I can't really teach them in this app is, you know, live video, but that's about, that's about it. So it's, it's just a simple way to kind of get them using the things that will help them be more successful while still showing their vitals and stressing how important they are just with one vital at least. That's a good question. question. Someone said, cause sometimes coaches run challenge groups together. Like maybe they have a new coach that they're kind of co-leading with. Is that, is that possible? What, I, Cause I ran into that problem. I like to do that with my coaches and what, I don't know, maybe I'm really close with my coaches though. So it was a situation where I just shared my password with her and um, I'm not worried. She's going to try to, I don't know, steal my identity or whatever. So she, so she would log on as me and then just say, you know, Tamsin here or whatever. And then she would co-host the group with me in that way. Or um, the only thing you can't do is you can't, um, you can't pin a post when you're not the coach. And what I mean, so that's really the only difference, but yeah, they are working on that. That's like, I think one of the next top things that they're trying to add on is having more than one admin of the group. Okay, cool. I have you a think? question, Pat. Yeah, go for it, Joe. Uh, Wendy and anyone else that's using the app. So you're doing your invites right through the app too? So if you have people on Facebook that you want to invite through the app, you just have to get their email? Yes. Right. <clears throat> okay, so if they and that's, okay. Yeah, that's basically what she was just talking about is like all of her leads, she has their email. And it's a simple way to be like, hey, I'm running this group. You don't have to log on to Facebook. We don't have to be friends. You know, we just now have this new connection that you can be a part of my group. And I think that's a great way to build trust. Right. So what about, I'm saying the people that you are friends with on Facebook, sometimes the email is blocked, I think, isn't it? Or does it always show? You have to get their email. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not your regular, like not your daily invites show. These would be people who. Invite to the challenge. Right. Yeah. Uh, no, like, I, well, for me, like, these are only people right now that I'm working with are pe only people who have bought a challenge pack. Right. Okay, so it's after they purchase, put them right. in. Right. Yeah, and so that way they're already in your Beachbody customer. Gotcha. Or if it's like a free group, I mean, you just, I mean, that's the only thing. Otherwise, I totally agree. It's just for my paid customers who are in my challenge group that starts on X date. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I like using it for my free groups too. What else? Oh, I wonder, I mean, it's, a, it's not an app. I guess that's the confusing part for some people. Like you literally, well, for just coaches, it's an app for our customers. So I think they've talked about the non-Apple. I don't know. I haven't seen a date on that when they're trying to unroll it to everyone. No, but for Android, coaches, it's Android just a website. Has, Android has it as an app. Oh. Yeah. Windows phone. So Joel, maybe someone can help direct Joel. And yeah. Yeah, I just pulled it off the iPhone uh, Apple Store also. Okay. They have the yeah. another app coming out for Beachbody on demand, where you can you know you stream your workouts and do it through your phone through the the Beachbody on demand app. You can also save up to seven workouts so that you don't even really need the internet. You could just have them saved on your tablet or on your phone. So if you're somewhere where you don't have internet access, you could still get your workout in with that app, the, the beach body on demand app, but that's wow. only for Apple right now. That's the one that doesn't, that they don't have a for Android yet. Right. I think Dave Yeckel did that already. I saw a post is Dave here. I'm wondering how much memory that takes up in your phone. If you're downloading and keeping those. What did he do? I wasn't listening. Downloaded um, the workout onto his phone so he doesn't have to stream it. It's in the memory. Oh, I don't know. He's at the store right now. I'll ask him when he gets back. Is he buying you roses? Should be. No, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering how much memory you need to download and turn those on your phone. I don't know. I'm always running out of memory on my phone, so I just upgraded to a phone the size of my face. Yeah. And that's good, then you don't need an internet connection. I, I know when I put this app on my phone, I had to delete a couple apps, so it must take a little bit of memory. I have an Android, by the way. <laughs> well, you okay, anyone else have any questions? You're old, you got no memory. Okay, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna rem- I'm gonna remember that, Joe. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to add that and this is Susie. Um, I just wanted to add that I I love the app. Like seriously. I've used it for the past two challenges. And if you haven't tried it yet, I really, really suggest trying it. And I would not use it and use a Facebook group. I think that defeats the purpose of the app. Um, And I think that would be kind of, for me, I would be very overwhelmed with that. Um, So I think if you're gonna use the app, you kind of have to go all in with that and just use that. Um, I think that it's, it replaces the Facebook group. You don't need to have a Facebook group and an app. Um, And if anyone has more questions, I'd be happy to um, answer them. You can message me. I love it. So Susie, did you ever have a Facebook group? Or you just started running with, I don't know how long you've been a coach and if you used Facebook groups first. Yeah. Yeah. I've used Facebook groups in the past and I've never had um, I've never had as much success with challenges as I have with the app. And I think I agree. It makes it so much more legitimate. Like um, Kayla with her beach body guides, she just got an app and it's just it makes it more I don't know. It's just legitimizes the challenge and it makes it something separate. Some, you know, we are always on Facebook because we're coaches, but some people don't go on Facebook and then you kind of, you make them invested in the challenge right away. Because if you are telling me you can't download an app on your phone, then I know that you're not going to be probably an active challenger. Right. So in my head, I'm like, all right, like, you know, they're not investing. So to me, the least you can do is invest, get this app, and then do what you need to do. And it's so much easier. You don't have to, to go on Facebook and get distracted. And I don't know. I just, I really like it. Do you see relationships being built between the challenge and the participants also like on Facebook? Yeah, definitely. Facebook? Because you can comment on each other's um, posts just the same. It's the exact same. Um, you can mention people's names and tag them. Um, and like for Flex Friday, I have right now I have, um, I'm running the group with my new coach, Kayla. And um, we have like 17 people in the group and there were 16 messages of actual Flex Fridays. Usually you get like four, five, every single person did it because it's not a picture on Facebook. I don't know. I think it's something mental that it's just different. It makes it different. It's a separate app. It's more. It's legit. Cool. Okay. Oh, great point. I have a question. I don't know if this is covered because I was half paying attention because I was panicking because I couldn't get into my coach online office, but anyways, I got it. Um, can you run an ongoing group? Like, can you not pick an end date? Like, say I wanted to have an ongoing 21-day fix group that I can throw previous 21-day fixers in where they can log their workout and their Shakeology every single day. Does anyone know if, if we're able to run a group without an end date? Because I know if you pick an end date, you can't keep the group going. That was That's one of the things I saw in the wall was people were wishing that you could keep the group going like, you know, for successful groups like you can on Facebook. Um, so I don't know if, I guess I'm just wondering if you can schedule a group um, without an end date. I have groups still going that oh, my first groups that I started. So I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but basically like. They could have changed it because this was like right after Elite got the sneak peek or whatever. I saw a couple coaches commenting in the wall about how, um, you know, they really liked it, but they just didn't know how to continue it. And people were saying, if you chose an end date, you can't run it past that end date. So maybe that was something they updated. Um. So. so- if you go into the edit challenge group, you put the start date and then you put the number of days that the um, challenges run for. And I like my first one I did, I did 21 and then everyone wanted to continue. So I, I just made it longer. Okay. Um, 
So you can edit it once you're already in there, you can make it longer. So I'm not sure if you could put like 365 days for the number of days. I'm not okay. sure. But you can go back and edit it if you want to extend it. Yeah, okay. you can change. Maybe the coach I saw comment was confused. Because it was to edit it, it was the really group is over though. That's the only thing. Right. If it's yeah, over, I think that's what it was. You can't like, edit it after. Uh, maybe that's what the problem was. Okay. If yeah. the group and the over, other thing, like I just put 21 days, so it's officially, but people can still comment and post in there. So it does say the group is over, I guess, per se, but the group can still continue just like it can normally was. Can they still was. log in their Shaco and workout every day if the group ends? Or can they just comment? I don't know if I've tried that. I mean, I know like I have one of my first groups, someone just commented yesterday, like when's the next group? I'd like to be in another one in that group. But I don't know. I mean, if it's the app, maybe not. That might be the only way that they can't. That's can, something you can, to look at. You can, schedule, you can schedule out. I mean, I've scheduled out. You just put in the date, start and end and you can schedule out 20, I, I went out at least 28 days I could see. So. We're okay. talking about like, can you still use the app once the challenge is over? Like, once like it's over. Oh, yeah. It should, you probably can't because it tracks according to that calendar. Yeah. So I'm not positive, but I'm going to say, go say no. But I do have a question for Wendy. Since this was my first group, is there a rollover process like that you can, so that you don't have to go in and like reschedule all the posts? No, we, I think that was talked about in the chat somewhere. That would be a really nice thing to have also. But what I do, which makes it in general pretty easy, I just click on the My Posts so that I can see all of my posts that I did for that group. And then I just open up a new browser window, open up the Challenge Tracker portal in that, and then just copy and paste from one to the next. Okay. So it's not super exactly. user-friendly, but it's not that difficult because everything's all there in one place. Thanks. Yeah, that would be another nice thing to do for sure. <laughs> Which you can do in other systems. So I'm sure that I know they can they can do it if they Right. Too. They do have all of posting. They do learn. Can yes. all challenges interact with each other? Yes. I mean, as far as in the group, is that was that already answered? I think they, I don't know if they can message each other privately. Has anyone done that? Well, you can. I think so because only you can send individual messages. They can tag each other and like comment back and forth on the group feed. Okay. Yeah. And that's the other thing I think, um, I think was mentioned. People feel a lot more comfortable posting their pictures in here because some people still get confused by Facebook. Like, is the group private? Is it public? Is it closed? Like who's going to see my photos? They don't have to worry about this at all on here. So there's that other level of security that they just don't worry about it. Can you move a challenger between groups? Um, what's nice about this is it does save everyone's email that you input, so you don't have to completely input their email again. You just have to like touch the first you know letter of their name, and all of the C emails will pop up. So you can just kind of generate your list that way if someone's wanting to move to a new group too. There's a couple other questions in here. Uh, do you know if there's a limit to how many posts can be scheduled ahead of time? I, I answered that, but on here, like I not, I've not, I've done anywhere from three to five posts a day throughout the entire group when I was really organized before one group and they didn't stop me on it at all. So, I mean, I don't see why you would need more than that. That would be at least what, like, you know, potentially a hundred posts and I didn't have an issue. Cool. Yeah. I think that what would be huge is if we could schedule out all the posts for our 21 days and then just roll that forward to the next challenge group. That would be quite nice. Yeah. And then add, add specific content that our challengers need as we go. So it's not just, you know, carbon copy every single group, but yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. You got all the pull, Wendy. I'm sure you can make it happen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Newbie. I don't know. Team booms coming in strong. Get Carolyn. She's in the top 20. Come on now. Yeah. All right, we got okay. 905 now. Any, you guys have anything else you wanted to add real quick? Nope. 
I got w- Wendy's in the boom fam, so you can tag her in there. She's kind of like a fly on the wall in there, but it's kind of nice having her in there as like a, as a resource too. Oh, yeah, well, I definitely, you guys have awesome culture. My coaches and I were just talking about this today and just how to move that. I think it's nice to be able to see and totally spy on you guys and, you know, pull it into my group because it's cool what you've created here. We're working on it. You have to Damn. breed. It's all breeding. It's all breeding. Yeah, <laughs> everyone has to be related. So I don't know how to do that in my group. <laughs> <laughs> Work your way out. You gotta have a lot of cousins. Cousins and in laws. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we got like there's a million of us sitting here. Here right we now. are. <laughs> Happy birthday, Andrea. Oh, the woodwork. <laughs> Oh, funny. Scary. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do it. Let's get a, a little boom on three. We'll get out of here and we'll start exploring this app and we'll start messing with it. I'm going to unmute. Let's see here. All right. Boom on three. Thanks, guys. One, two, three. Boom. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That was great. Happy birthday, Annie. Happy birthday, Annie. Who's that girl? Okay.